So, what we need to do now, clean it up a little bit more. I go over it with some fine sandpaper. I'm going to cut it out right here on the line, uh, you know, that you can see. Uh, oh, here the side's better. On that line, I use my little saw and I'll cut it out, file it, go along the edge here where that seam was. You know, I'll take my little files or sandpaper, you pile, do the final polish. Um, so here, let me go ahead and cut it out. And uh, I'll show you how we do that. All right, I got my little coping saw right here. I think I got a zero gauge blade on there. Okay, so I moved over here to my jeweler's pen. All right, now I need to hold this thing while I saw it. So I'm going to use my little hand vise here. I think this might make it a little easier for me. Okay, I grab it. And I can see that's the edge I want to cut. Let me make sure it's right. Okay. And put my wedge in here. Yeah, it ain't going to work. Not better yet. Right on the line. The thicker the metal, the slower it's going to cut. Also, the thicker the metal. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. The thicker the metal, the the bigger the blade you want. I said this is a zero gauge. Um, I think they make it all the way up to eight zero. Okay, almost through. Okay, there you go. Now I'm gonna take my file. And now these files, these come in a, a package here. I got some, a new one over here. There's what is in here? Ten or twelve? Is like six bucks at Harbor Freight. <sighs> yeah, they've been sitting up in the corner. When they're on sale, I buy extras. You know, here's another Harbor Freight set. Uh, yeah, they're crap. They're cheap. But metal is, uh, silver metal is <laughs> really soft. And as long as you use these files on nothing but the silver, they'll last a very long time. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it out a little bit and clean it up just to smooth that out a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna what I'm trying to do is just kind of round off those that sharp edge where the uh, saw came in. Yeah, just kind of make it a little more natural and get rid of the big the saw cuts. Let me look here, see how this is looking. I said silver is super soft. You can literally cut sheet silver with a pair of sil uh, scissors you use for uh, for paper. You know, not, I mean metal scissors. You can't use them little crappy fiskers. All right. Uh, I think that's pretty nice. Let's see what the rest of it looks like. Okay, now I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little seam that runs all the way down on both sides. So what I'm going to do is i want to get a little different file i'm using my little my little knife edge here to get down into the, the inside radius a little bit and i'm just knocking that that um uh, they call that uh flashing uh, the seam right there anything that extends out past the original <laughs> looking good okay i got me some re20 wet dry I do the same thing. I go along and I'm okay, and I like that. I'm just kind of knocking off the height. You know, the the sand leaves a, a gritty surface. It'll catch a lot of detail, but the surface isn't going to be mirror smooth no matter what you do. Okay, here's what we got so far. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Now. 
we need to make the the ring for the top. I do is I get this double half round. I don't know if you see that it's two half round wires. Uh, I don't remember what gauge this is, but it's kind of small. I take a little mandrel, just a little tool to bend it around. I bend it around. I take my clippers. I cut it off. And then I'm going to solder that right onto there. Looks good. Uh, usually the best way to do this is get a little solder on the end here and a little solder on there and then sweat them together. Uh, use these little fire locks here, rocks here. To... I'm gonna put a little bit of flux up. Is that flux flux flux? This is the bittern self pickling uh, flux. Okay, and I got my wire flux right here, my wire. Um, solder and I'm just gonna I don't care if this works out or not I'm just gonna have to get my torch and Okay, I'm not going to use it quite as high, but I want to get it hot enough. Everything is out of the way. There you go. Okay. And then I get this. Okay, <coughs> those two pieces are stuck together. Let me drop it in here to cool it down. Okay, but... okay. And you can see I got another now. I'm gonna straighten it out just a little bit. Get my pair of pliers here. And I think it needs to bend. How's that look? This way. Yeah. See that? Now that's right at the top. Got a nice loop on it. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab the um, uh, the thing I made, <laughs> the rattlesnake rattle, and I'm gonna put it in here. And I'm gonna grab it like that, so I got a good solid grip on it. And then I'm gonna brace myself, and I'm gonna cut straight down between the two. Okay, then I take a, a knife, just a regular knife blade, and I stick it down in between. Oh, and I use that to open it. And voila. I like that little pair of rabbit ear looking things. Alright, I got some stuff here called pickle. Pickle is a uh, is a type of acid that's designed to uh, eat that black oxide. Uh, pickle works a lot better if it's warm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this piece up and then throw it in the pickle. This thing's made for uh, a creme brulee or something. <laughs> it sounded, uh, oh, look how quick it did that. How beautiful, huh? Did you see that? Look at that. Okay, final steps now. Let me look at it. Okay, it looks pretty darn good. But it's still just white metal silver. This is where the magic happens. 
Okay, first, I take a little of this stuff called Silver Black. There's like 40 different brands. Liver of Sulfur is the most common one. And I am going to put that on here. And it is going to go with a beautiful black color and all them crevices and stuff. Here, let me put it on the top there. I like a little up there too. Do it on both sides. Okay. Like I said for a second, this is another time you might want to heat it up a little bit. Heating it up does, I mean, don't, don't get it too hot. But, oh, that's the wrong torch. Uh, heating it up does wonders for uh, making the black darker and uh, making it stick better. Okay. I know it's funny. We just cleaned off black and now we're adding black. But this is, this is a black we can control. We like this kind of black here. Okay, here we go. Oops. This patina is what this is called. The other stuff is just called an oxide, I guess. <laughs> Not as nice. Okay, here we go again. I'm going to take my 320 sandpaper. Now check this out. I got this piece of metal and I glued leather to it. One side, it's the hard side of the leather. The other side, it's the fluffy side of the leather. And um, what I did is uh, then I take... Uh, Jeweler's Rouge, which is a, um, a type of uh, ground up uh, clay that's added to wax, and, uh, and they charge it like this. Okay, that makes sure there's Jeweler's Rouge on it. Now, this works just like one of them jeweler polishing cloths that you buy at the store. Okay, I also like it because it's good and solid, so I and it gives me just a little bit of flex. So, at this point here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take this. I'm going to sand it on the sandpaper and just knock off the high points. I got that black on there. I guess. I go through it, and you can see. See, this is a super fine paper too. This doesn't leave any marks on the metal, and uh, it just barely removes any metal. Okay, now the back side. And it's a little ugly right there, but yeah, we'll take care of that. Okay, now what I do is after I get that done, now I'm going to polish it this way. Now you saw earlier I put it on the machine outside. I, machines, there's no quicker way to ruin a piece than to, to put do something on the machine when you're not not ready. Yeah, that machine will whip that thing out of your hand and throw it across the yard quicker than you can shake a stick. Uh, you can uh, um, do it by hand. And in all my classes, and I've taught classes for literally decades, in my classes I've always uh, told people, you know, do it by hand. I used to, I used to sit in a, in a city park and make jewelry. Just sitting out at a picnic table, didn't have any electricity. It's me, myself, and, and nature up. Okay. Now this is a piece of felt. And it's something else you can charge with the uh, with the jeweler's rouge. And then you can get down into the cracks and polish your piece really good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's done for that. Yeah, that's a secret. So you just want to leave a little bit of that black down in the bottom there. And that's the uh, aged patina. That makes it look, bring out all the details. Okay, well, I think we are just about done. Just polish this little thing right there. And uh, here we go. And there is your finished piece compared to the original piece. Yeah, let me see if I can hold it like that. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, not, too, not too bad, huh? <laughs> uh, I think that's pretty good. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you got any questions, comment in the comment section. And, um, 
I hope to do another video pretty soon. Thanks.